photo app, the new Instagram? Who knows? Today we are going to find that out because this app is still in beta and that means you are going to get a sneak preview into the photo app. I am going to go through my first impressions, I am going to show you the roadmap of the photo app and also my conclusion, my thoughts on a new photo app. Let me first open the app. Alright, so when I open the app the first thing I see is the pictures that, that some some that the peep of the the pictures of the people that I follow. Uh, this one is fairly new. Uh, it was posted about an hour ago. I don't follow that many people yet. And it's quite small since they're in beta. Anyways, um, this is the opening window. This is what you see when you open the app. It's like this. If you like a picture, you can watch it, of course. You can push it and then you can even zoom it so that you can look at the picture better. This is a, a feature I really like. Um, I think it's quite smooth. It works. Uh, as it is, of course, how will it work when there will be much like plenty more users, but right now this is what it looks like. If I go to the next, uh, if I go to my own page, it looks like this. This is me having a too long name, um, my YouTube channel, which is, the name is also quite long, I see. And um, here are my posts that I have put up. I think most of the post has been quite misty posts. So when I watch one of my own posts, I can see how many likes I have gotten. Five likes on this one, which is much for me. Um, the funny thing with likes on the photo app is I will see the likes I get, but I can't see other people's likes. And that is something that I think is quite good because in the game of finding, figuring out, getting likes, uh, there is this problem that uh, when we go to dig too deep into that, we start looking for the good vibes outside of ourselves when we should look for the good vibe inside of ourselves. So this is something that I really like with the photo app, that they have thought of the mental health of likes with not showing how many likes someone else got. You only see your own. Uh, then, of course, I got, I got a comment recently. Was it uh, yesterday? Christian here uh, told me that I love how this looks like heavy rain. Thank you, Christian. I, I replied to him here. This is it. Uh, what you still can't do is that you can't tag someone or there are no has hashtags. So, so this is like what, what, what we have to deal with right now. Um, then if I go to search bar here, uh, this is where I see and find new photographers. Uh, love this place. It's very clean. The whole app is really clean and I love that. Uh, minimalistic and clean. So Simon here has posted a picture of someone, a skier that smokes a cigarette or something else funnier. Then, uh, so this is what we get. There's a lot of photographers, a lot of street photography can be found here. Um, I can push like, push like, but as you, as you can see, I can't see how many likes this person has gotten from this picture of a trolley. I love the colors in this one, it's really cool. Then we have the notification bar here. These are all the notifications that I've gotten. Uh, someone has commented on my post, I have commented on other people's posts, so I can see if they, they comment back to me or, uh, or replies. So this is what it looks like, quite easy and, and understandable. If I want to post up something, I can push the plus button. Uh, and here I can choose a picture. Maybe that one, then I can type something, something, and post it. I still can't use, ha use hashtags or anything, I can't tag anyone, so, so I can write something and there it is. I will not post that right now. This is what the app looks like. I like it. It's clean, it works. Let's go to the roadmap for those who want to know what is going to happen with the app from now on to the future. So here's the roadmap. As you can see, there are quite many things that are done from the list already. We have like the first one, a discover future feature, is some discovery feature, which is the one where I've discovered the pictures. Replies, I can reply nowadays. 
add pull to, to refresh uh, the search page has happened. Uh, push notifications 1.0 is done. Zoom in on an image is done. Number six is uh, see how see who liked your post. That's done. Number seven auto add auto capitalization at start of a post or comment. Uh, so it's like the bigger letter in the, in the beginning of a, a post when you start writing. Uh, number eight, smooth scroll on the main feed. And that's what I really like. I feel like this app is really smooth. Uh, then we have number nine, improve, improve, improve load times for account pro profile page. Number 10, improve uh, load times for uh, the liked by page. And then the, the, and these are the ones that are done. Let's jump into the ones that are in the future. Number 11, mentions, which I said, they are coming, but they're not there yet. Like a small reminder, this is version 0 0.27. So we're not there yet. Uh, then we have uh, number 12, add profile tags and profile locations search. That's up next. Uh, Another thing that is up next is add ability to search for the last name and first name. So it's easier to find out like Oscar Lehtinari, like this. And then uh, we have number 17, which, also, which is also up next and that, fi that is fixing more bugs. And I really like uh, this stage of the app because it's very easy to get in contact with them if you figure out like, hey, this isn't working, you can easily post to their site or somewhere that, hey, this is something that I figured that I, I see as a problem. And then they actually answered quite quickly with that, like, yeah, we are aware of the problem, we're fixing it. And now actually that was the ver version before, so hopefully they have fixed it already, haven't checked. Anyways. Uh, other things that are on the list that aren't up next, which is mentions, as I said. Then we have add content preview to the notification page. We have uh, add pull to refresh the profile page. Uh, add ability to share a link to a post or profile outside of photo, which is not able, uh, uh, available yet, but is coming. Uh, and then, and it will be interesting to see like now during the beta, is it going to be something that you can, like, can you show the app to someone without that person having the app or how does it work? Anyways, uh, then we have number 18, ability to edit posts and then ability to edit comments, comments, which are of course very important things. Sometimes, at least me, I'm, I'm the kind of person that writes, writes something wrong and, and you know, stuff happens. So this is the roadmap right now. I think when this is done, we will probably get like the, hopefully like the, the first, like 0.1 version, the, the open version. But I think there is a lot to come and uh, from, from interviews that I've heard and stuff like that, it's only two people that are actually working on this app mainly. So so it's a very small team, they're growing, it's, it's very much in the beginning and uh and and so so it's really interesting for me as a photographer to be part of this journey because what i'm looking for in a app like this is that i would wish and love if this would be a a new way of creating a community of photographers artists where where you somehow like easily can connect with new people and 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 learn from each other that that would be like so awesome because i feel like pages like or or apps like like instagram they are so huge it's um, sometimes difficult to create like working communities or you can do that but it requires a lot for you from you so i think if if this would be something that that photo would have and and be like a a smooth version of creating communities, then I think they would have, have the upper hand in that uh, to Instagram. But that comes to like the upsides and downsides, what I see of this app. Um, the upsides are, are clearly that, that uh, like it's, an, it's a photo app. Uh, you will get your photos like when, when someone posts something, that's the photo you see the first. So, so you will not 
like there's not an algorithm that's going to show the post that that they think or someone has paid for to to show you the first no you are going to get your grandma's pictures if grandma is posting right now and that's really cool and i think everyone is missing that the other thing that that i think is very nice and possi the po like there's a lot of possibilities in learning from the vero app or vero app uh, which i also have uh, I feel it had potential, it had like, but I thought, thought also they tried so much different kind of things with links and video and all these kind of things. Uh, I felt it, uh, it fell short, be maybe because of that, because I thought it was like, it, it, it was buggy and, and uh, it wasn't a really nice uh, experience i think even though it worked on some level and people are still hanging there and i'm posting occasionally something there uh but i don't know there i think we it's a good place to like a photo app has an op opportunity to learn from vero and and what they did not do so well uh and i i think they probably do the downsides of of the photo app is that that of course instagram is always going to be at right now it's going to be the king it's the biggest one that's what your grandma is using that's what you are using that's what your children are using uh so so that means the comp there there it's almost impossible to make a good competition out of this uh that's why this could be an alternative to instagram it's not something that's going to break instagram but as we have seen with tiktok for instance as uh uh that that when someone makes something really good uh the bigger apps they need to start changing uh, they need to do something to to not lose their followers so so there's always a possibility with with the with with uh, with showing new ideas or and, and and lifting up new ideas the problem is uh also what i see with this is if if you're a photographer if, if it's a profession of yours it's very difficult to uh to find anyone to buy your products as a conclusion i would say that this app has the potential to be a beautiful place for you to show your photos at but at the same time uh, the road to a app that would be very largely known is very long um, but i think it's it's nice it's nice to be part of a journey i don't think the end goal is uh, is so important uh, i must say the process is what is the most cool thing about this thing and to be part of it to be part of the open or uh, uh, the closed uh, beta uh, i think is uh, very nice because then you get to see how people think how they want to make this process these things work so that it will be a nice experience for every user that will come to this app in the future that's all i have to say about the photo app thank you very much for listening don't give up your daydream. Peace.